Governor Rauner has said he will not attend the Republican National Convention uh, this summer, nor uh, will he support uh, the presumptive nominee, Donald Trump. We now have uh, Senator Mark Kirk also saying he will not attend the Republican convention. Uh, full disclosure, uh, Anthony, you are a Donald Trump delegate, I, to, the, I am to, a the, delegate. to the national convention. Do you think Trump's presence um, on the ballot is going to hurt Republicans up for tough re-election fights like Senator Kirk? Absolutely not. If anything, it'll Absolutely help. Not, it, it, it'll help people like Kirk, Senator Kirk, because it, Senator Kirk is in a fight for his life against uh, Tammy Duckworth. Make no mistake about it. And having a candidate who's popular, like a Donald Trump, especially here in Illinois, where Donald Trump received a lot of Republican votes, it can only help Mark Kirk and others like Mark Kirk in this upcoming general election. Well, of course, Donald Trump received those votes in the Republican in primary. Republican primaries, we're absolutely. talking, Nancy, we're talking now about a general election. Uh, how does the Trump ticket figure into Illinois, do you think? I, well, I, mean, I will say that in, while Trump did receive a good number of votes, there were almost twice as many primary voters this time than four years ago, and so many more of them came out for Hillary Clinton. So it is going to be really interesting. This is obviously a very blue state. Uh, I think that there are a number of Republicans higher up on the ballot that are concerned that, that their voters either go towards the Democrats or stay home. Matthew, what's your thought about Kirk? Does, does having Trump at the top of the ticket make Mark Kirk more vulnerable? Well, Chris, we've got five months to the election. <laughs> and frankly, it, it depends how many people Donald Trump alienates between now and then. I don't know. Um, you know, he is a very polarizing candidate. And if it breaks in a positive fashion for him, it'll break positively for Kirk. If he goes out and really steps in it, Kirk's going to have a hard time. Then again, Illinois is the home state of... Uh, not the presumptive Democratic nominee yet, but many people feel that Hillary Clinton is a, will inevitably become the, the nominee. Does Clinton's home state factor in Nancy in terms of helping her um, against a Donald Trump, and what does that mean for other Illinois races? Well, and she is in town to fundraise in her... Uh, in her, Park Ridge today. Right, exactly, right. where she's from, although she's claimed, you know, to be from New York as well. So I don't... I, Cubs I think... fan and a Yankees fan. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's a tough. Right. Um, just one other thing on Trump, and I, I would say that yesterday when he announced the, the list... Of uh, 11 the, possible candidates right. for Supreme yeah. Court. Supreme, for Supreme Court, I think that's definitely one of those moves where he's like, you may not like me personally, but here's what I would represent as a Republican president and, and reaching out to some of those people that are a little hesitant. But, Anthony, when you look at all of the very prominent Republicans who have said they cannot support Donald Trump, um, every member of the Bush family, uh, you know, Presidents 41 and 43, right. Bush, you know, Governor Romney, uh, uh, Ted Cruz, the list, the list goes well, on. And isn't that going to, to bring down the Republican turnout for Trump here in Illinois? Well, to some extent, but, but then again, we're talking about Bush 41. I mean, he didn't absolutely have a... He, it was a failed presidency, if you ask me. You had Bush 43, uh, you know, the recession had started. Mitt Romney, he couldn't even get past Obama. So these are Republicans who, in any case, are not winning their parties. Th those are entrenched Republicans who have, the, who have a... Uh, a sort of a, I, I would say, a message to put out there. And it's not the regular message. That's why you have Donald Trump, a person in Donald Trump, who has made it this far, not only in the state of Illinois, but around the country. People want change. People don't want the same message that the regular Republicans have been giving out. They just, they're just tired of it. Well, Matt, except that most of the Republicans in Illinois are in the Chicago suburbs. And are those uh, Republicans likely to be Trump supporters in the, in the fall? You know, Chris, I... That I don't know. What I do know is that the, the, the Illinois uh, political climate is a microcosm of the overall Republican Party throughout the country. Uh, Republicans were upset the day President Obama took office. They've had eight years to get a nominee that they can all get behind. And this is what they have. Um, it's got to be very frustrating for the Republican Party to be in this position. They've had eight years to, to coalesce, to come together, to get a message out there that would resonate with 50.1% of the people, and they've still failed to do that, even have, after having eight years of prep time. Nancy, when you look at the electoral map, Illinois has been a blue state for a, a very long time. Do you see anything changing that? Well, as Anthony pointed out, Trump is appealing to a group of voters that may not have come out in large numbers before, so I do think there is a chance that we will see a, a different group coming out. But the numbers for the Democrats were pretty strong. And, and just for the record, as long as we have a, an unpopular governor like Governor Rauner in Illinois, I am at the least concerned whether or not he's going to be at a convention in Cleveland, Ohio. He's, he's just way too unpopular. He's better left where he's at in Illinois. And he, of course, is not up for re-election this year.